Hey guys, are you ready to go to war? <laughs> Welcome to another custom blueprint. This one has quite an interesting story behind it. Um, you see, in... Yeah, well... You know what? Never mind. Um, there is a YouTube link in the description below. When you're done watching this movie, or this clip, whatever you want to call it, uh, go look at that. It is Jeremy Clarkson explaining the story behind this little homage thing here I've done. Um, yeah, it's a dirt racing trail, open class 1983 Audi Sport Quattro versus the 1982 Lancia uh, O three O thirty seven O seventy three O thirty seven for fuck's sake Stradale, it's winter night heavy snow, it's thirty four point nine kilometers total. Race time is roughly thirteen minutes and forty five seconds, and really. Check out the story behind this. It is, you will not believe it. I promise you. It is epic. Uh, it's all about when Audi uh, yeah, got, got a law or rule added to the rule book of the rally championships that it was okay to use four wheel drive. And then they showed up in their four-wheel drive car, and they were expected to destroy everything. And the, one of the first rallies was the Monte Carlo Rally, uh, which is in Monte Carlo. And Monte Carlo is surrounded by mountains. In when, if, when are they racing the Monte Carlo? That's in January, something like that. So lots of snow, lots of ice. And what Lancia did... Uh, in the days leading up to the rally was, and of course with all the snow, Audi would have a huge advantage because Lancia is only rear-wheel drive. Um, but what Lancia did was they bought up all the salt in southern France and the night before the rally they salted all the roads they were going to drive trials on meaning no snow, no ice. Lancia win wins because they had the speed as long as they could put it down. And stuff like that all the way through. It's an epic tale. You really, really need to watch this. Unless you, like me, already have watched it about a thousand times or so. Anyway, these are my settings. And, well, let's get it on. And let me just pull up the map here. Here we are. So we start here. Uh, go through this bit, then over the mountain, up along, let's call it Old Lady's House. And down over the mountain again, then back down here, across, uh, up, and down again. A little bit of roundabout here, and then back, and we end at the quarry. And yes, we end by going over the edge. And that's it, really. So, yeah. Nothing to it. Everybody can do this. On my seven and three quarter scale, I give this a... Yeah, with the darkness, the twist of it. Let's call it a five and a half. And so why is the Lancia leading the Audi right now when there's lots of ice and snow? Well, because I cheated. Just like Lancia did. And I have uh as you can hear, done an engine swap, and I've given this beast four-wheel drive. Because 
there is no way I'm doing a, a rear-wheel drive car for rallying in the snow in S1 class in this game. Damn it. Oh, oh. I've driven this track three times now. This is the third time. Yeah, third time. And I've missed that checkpoint all three times. I keep forgetting it. So, now you know. There it is. I mean, how stupid can you be? to keep forgetting the same checkpoint over and over again. But anyway, of course this little homage thing had to be in the snow because, well, I, I think that the absolute biggest cheat of the season was that Monte Carlo rally. That was just amazing. I mean, the, the ingenuity, the, yeah. Who comes up with, it's only Italians that could come up with an idea like that. But it worked. It really, really worked. I'll give them that. And there was something about some wheel changes as well. I can't remember if that was the Monte Carlo rally. When they stopped mid uh, mid session or mid uh, uh, trial and and simply changed tires like formula one basically and ripped off slicks put on snow uh, or well wet tires for the uh, for the mountain bit and it it worked uh, after that year there were several Things added to the rule book. Uh, <clears throat> I can, yeah, I can promise you that. Um, and it was the last year, well, I'm gonna spoil it a little bit. It was the last year that a two wheel drive rally car won the Constructors Championship in the World Rally Championship 1983. is just brilliant I mean like uh, uh, what Lancia did to save weight on their car it was like the flimsiest thinnest materials ever and it, there are some evidence to suggest from crashed uh, 037s that maybe they didn't quite live up to the safety demands even at that time because they sort of had a tendency to break a lot if they crashed <laughs> I just love that Italian way oh easy we lied But, yeah, what am I saying? Uh, the Mafia is Italian. Uh, Italians don't lie and everything they do is correct. I have been misinformed. Apparently. There's also uh, something about... Oh, whoa, yeah, right. Damn it. See? Too busy talking, no, no driving. Uh, there's also something about 
the olive groves in Italy, uh, where they, due to some, yeah, manipulation is, he, is the word, uh, actually receive uh, more, uh, more money from the EU in acre support than there are acres in Italy. It's really weird. Uh, and if you really want to get into that, I can see if I can find the article again. Because, but it is math on an extremely high level because they really manipulate and bend and rebend uh, the rule. Kind of fun, actually. Oh yeah, and I have a little bit of a surprise for you. Uh, not long ago, I did a track where uh, Whitewater Falls Danger Sign was incorporated. Oops, I did it again. Got a pretty good cup speed for a rally car. Thanks to that engine truck. And in case you're wondering, then yes, I am driving two-handed. Is my arm okay? No, not really. Uh, and I'm only driving two-handed to the extent that I use my left hand to sometimes press the uh, handbrake. So I can do shit like that. lot of grip here. This is basically ice when you were running in the window. Also, also, by the way, while I still remember, I will be doing some tracks on Fortune Island. And at some point, maybe even the Lego Krabby Valley. Uh, but that's undecided. But I will be doing some on Fortune Island. And I'm sorry if you don't have the Fortune Island uh, expansion DLC thingy. Uh, Sorry. I just feel like, well, I have the damn thing and I hardly ever use it, so maybe it was the time to try and use it.
even though at the moment I'm uh, the, the main reason for doing it is because I'm running low on race opportunities here. I have like ooh, I'm getting close to a hundred custom races I made. <coughs> I think I am. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, it's getting there. 90 or so. thinking you know, maybe I'll do something when I do whoa, when I do number hundred number one hundred to ooh, maybe maybe I'll do the a race for the centenario. In case you're wondering centenario means a hundred in uh, Italian or something yeah related. Oh no, means a hundred, right? I think so. Anyway. Let's focus on this a little bit because it gets a bit tricky in here. Two hundred on a goat trail in the woods at night in the winter. Right. This might void the warranty on your car if you do this. Try this at home. But of course, if you have a launch here, 037, then you wouldn't. Would you? No, you wouldn't. Here we go. And. And sadly, no, no jump. There we go. And see, the good part about being in the Lancia is that the AI will always, always, always pick the Audi. Stupid AI. Clearly superior in the Lancia. Ah, go away. There we are. Yay. So, uh, the car I was using was the 1982 Lancia 037 Storale, and the tune I was using was this one. There you go. And uh, please, go check the story out. It is really, I mean, it, as far as battles between brands go, it is one of the greatest. It is really up there with the uh, GT40 versus the Ferrari, whatever it was, uh, in the 60s at Le Mans. It, it is really up there. Uh, and then afterwards, go drive. Uh, yeah, also, if you use my, one of my tunes or one of my tracks, please remember to like them. And the same goes for the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.